Okay, kindergarten and first grade. We are working on color this week. We've hopefully went through your presentation and if you're able to print out the worksheet that you see, great, then you can use this and that's what we're gonna use to add our color. If you're unable to print out the worksheet, um, any white piece of paper will do and you're just gonna look at the worksheet on the computer and kind of draw it out on the white paper. So you gotta be careful because if you use a marker that is Crayola and then you try to paint, it's gonna smear that. So I'm gonna use a Sharpie to show you what I mean. So if I'm looking at the picture, I want one circle at the top and then there's a triangle. It doesn't have to be good. So this is gonna be your primary colors. I'm gonna put an R for red, yellow for blue, I mean yellow, Y for yellow, B for blue. So that's the first three colors we're gonna work with. And then if you notice, the triangle is the opposite direction. It's upside down. And then they have a smaller circle, G for green, O for orange, and P for purple. So. If you have to draw it out like this with a pencil, a marker, a crown, whatever you have at home, then understand either one is going to be acceptable. I'm gonna use um, the printed one just because my picture is not so pretty. Uh, I am gonna keep this white paper next to me. If you are not going to use water to wash your brush off, having an extra piece to wipe the extra paint off like we've done in the classroom is very important. Now, if you're using temper paint sticks, markers, or colored pencils or crowns you have to have one two three four five six all six of your colors because you will not be able to take the markers the paint sticks the uh, crowns or the colored pencils and mix the color together if you're using paint you just need yellow red and blue those are your three main colors and we're going to go over making the other colors so i'm going to kind of use a variety of my materials so you understand for example red if you have a colored pencil or a marker or a paint stick, whichever material you're using, you're gonna pick it and you're going to color in that circle red. If you are using paint, then you're just going to take your paint, dip it in the red, and paint in the circle red. Now what I said about not washing it off just to help your paints, um, this white piece of paper over here, I'm just gonna Wipe off all the red paint or paper towel is good so I don't have to worry about water. So again, if you're using materials that are not paint, you need to use that to color it in. Now we're gonna move to blue. So find your blue, whatever material you're using for your blue. And repeat the same one for yellow. So red, yellow, and blue, these are our three primary colors. These colors are what create all the other colors in the rainbow. If you have these three colors at home, you'll be able to make ton more colors. So the color wheel gives us the answers to what we need to make the next color. For example, we're going to make orange. So if you look on this side of the color wheel, we're gonna be using red and yellow to make orange. So if you're using your markers or other items to color it in, you need to grab your orange and you're going to color in that area. Now let me show you what I'm doing with the paint. So again, I wanna make sure my paintbrush is clean. I don't have a lot of. And we're gonna do something called a double dip. So you have to ensure that your paintbrush is super clean. So I'm gonna take my brush and the first color I have to go to is going to be yellow. It's the lightest color. I'm gonna dip a little yellow then I'm gonna red and dip a little red. If you can see, my paintbrush has both colors on my brush. I go to orange and I rub. And you've gotta make sure you get that yellow in there because yellow is probably the first. And yes, I may go over the circle, but I have to do it to mix. Now, if you see orange, you did it right. If you see and it's too red, you need to wash your brush off, get a little more yellow and add it on top. If it's too yellow, wash your brush off, get a little more red and add it on top. But usually if you did it right, which are double dip. Now I'm gonna wipe it off. So now we're gonna move to the next part of our 
we're gonna make green. So if you look on other sides of green, we need to use yellow and blue. Remember, you want to start with your lightest color first, which is yellow. So if you're using your colored pencil or your paint sticks or your marker, you're just gonna grab your green and you're gonna color it in with one of those. For us painting, we're gonna take the yellow first, dip in yellow, move to blue, and just a little bit of blue. You don't need much. Okay, you see yellow and blue are on my brush. Go to green and mix on my paper. I never wanna mix it in my jar because if I mix it in my jar, I'm gonna ruin the color that is in the jar. We always wanna mix it on our paper. So again, wipe off the green. And the last one is purple or violet. We're gonna be using red and blue. Now red and blue are both dark colors, but out of both of them, red is the lightest, blue is the darkest. So again, if you're using your other materials, make sure you grab your purple and you're gonna color in your circle with purple. But if you're using paint, you are gonna go red, move over, a little blue, make sure they're both on your brush, and stir. And now, this is a good example. It's too red, so I need more blue. So I do need to get all that off before I move back. Add a little more blue. It's starting to look, well, now I've got too much blue. Sometimes, there we go, it's a little better. Sometimes it just takes some work. Okay, so that is our color wheel. Red, yellow, and blue are our primary colors, and these three colors make orange, purple, and green, which are our secondary colors. So I hope you've enjoyed um, painting with Miss Lawson or coloring. However you did the activity with us, make sure that your parents take a picture of your completed color wheel, either the one you drew or the one you printed, for you to upload to our Google Classroom.